So let's look at the second one. Discounted payback period. Now, remember the definition we took in the payback period? We said how long it takes, right? So this time around is the same definition, but this time around is going to consider what? Time value of money. It's going to be considering time value of money. So we said how long a project takes, oh sorry, how long it takes to uh, recover the initial cost of a project taking into consideration the time value of money. So this time around, we're going to be discounting the cash flows. We're going to be discounting the cash flows. rule here is the same thing. The shorter the period, the better it is for the company. So I'm going to be using the same example, but I'll modify it a little bit just to reflect um, what I want to illustrate well. So the cost of the project this time around, it's going to be 180,000. That's 150 here. 161 and 80 so that I can fall within this side. 185,000. So that should be the initial cost. Then I'm adding another information. Cost of capital is 12%. Cost of capital is 12%. So this is the question. KKPLC invests $185,000 into a new project with a net cash flow as follows. So the same cash flows, but this time around, we have the capital, the cost of capital. So that will be the rate we will use to discount the project. So now, oh, we don't have this count factor again. Oh my goodness. Please remind me so that I can no, print this. Is it? Yeah, you can, you can, I have an, I have an invention of it here. So maybe I, I can just send it to you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, you are not. You know, so let me send this to you guys quickly. Bluetooth. 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 I want to get to the credit. Okay. So put your visibility on. So now that we have a, now, so this is how the schedule is going to be. We're going to have year here, here. We're going to have cash flow here. We're going to have discount factor here. We're going to have present value. Then we're going to have cumulative present value. So be careful here. So year, cash flow, discount factor, present value, cumulative present value. Now the discount factor is going to be the cost of capital. So at what? 12%. And we are working in thousands up, thousands up like that. So year zero will always be the cost of the project, which is 185. So 185 by this. Year zero discount rate is always one. So it will be 1.0, sorry, 185 and then 185. So let's go. This is year zero, year zero. Now, then we come to year one. How much are we having? 50. So go to the present value table, 12% first period. No point eight nine three. Can you see that? Can you see that? 12% on the 
present value tables. This is the annuity or the present value. Okay. Twelve percent. Yeah, you get it. So that's how you go about it. Let's multiply to get a present value. You can't do them down because I won't hear. I saw you in one one. So that you'll be able to get your answer. 44.65. Now that is an addition. So take it from the negative and let's get our balance. 140.35. Still negative. Right? So we go year two. How much are we having? 75,000. So go to year two. Second period, 12%. Okay, 0 0.797. Okay, so let's multiply to get a present value. So let's subtract from this and let's see what we got. Eighty point five seven. Year three, we are having eighty two. So go to the third year, read the present value for me. No point seven one two. Are you getting the same figures? Okay. So let's multiply. Because if not, Rosa can be punching some things for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we have? 58. So let's subtract it and let's go. Twenty-two. One nine. Still negative. So let's go. Year four. How much is coming? 19,000. 19. <laughs> Correct. Did you also write 18? Oh, sorry. It should be 19. So 19. Read the present value for me for the year. No point six three six. Let's multiply. Hey, from the TV to me, I can read it. Twelve point one. Twelve point one. Hey, hey. It's still a negative. Ten point zero nine. Ten point no nine. Then we go to year five. How much is coming? Sixteen. Go and read for me. Zero point five six seven. Zero point five six seven. Let's go. I'll be like nine point something. What's the project here? Nine point zero seven. Nine point zero seven. Tea free way. What? You're almost in the city. What a project. 1.02. Still negative, right? Yeah. So we go to the set here, and that is 12. Read for me. 0.907. We go. 6.78. So definitely we will now go to positive of how much. Okay, so now the payback period is between where? Year 5 and year 6. So, how do we go? So, discounted payback. Payback period. Equals the year before we went to positive. Which is how many years? 5. So, 5 years. Plus. How much was left before we went to positive? 
0.2 divided by the cash flow that came in before we went to the positive. For us to go to positive, which was how much? 6.08. So get a principle well. The cash flow, the negative we were having before we went to positive, divided by the cash flow that came for us to go to positive, times one year. Times one year. So what we got? Five point something something. Five point. Five point one seven. Yes, that's it. So that is the answer for the discounted payback period. And we are discounting the cash flows into present values and using those present value to value the project. So you see the gap. Even though the, uh, the cost was slightly increased, when you do present value, it actually gives you a more realistic view of the payback period. So this is what you got to understand about payback. Pilot.